Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokegame here and today I'll be going over with my buddy Eonex the recent NU quick bans, the recent PU quick bans, as well as some sleeper Pokemon or some hot picks and RU and NU that you guys should be using on the ladder. So if you enjoy this type of video, feel free to subscribe. We're on our way to 300,000 subscribers by the end of the year, hopefully. And uh, yeah, Eonex, my boy, you can say hi. Hello everyone. So yeah, NU, PU, they had some quick bans recently. Like Joey said, we're going to go over those. And some Pokemon that are not RU or NU by usage respectively that can definitely give you an edge in battle if you uh, can support them properly. They will do well for you. Yeah. So, uh, first off, we start off with Toxtricity, which got banned by NU. Uh, <laughs> honestly, no, no surprise there. Like, this mod has no, no switchings. No switchings at all. Uh, Boom Burst and Overdrive, what's the only mod that could switch into that is like Golurk and you just get Snarled. Uh, or like, just like the Ghost yeah. types that like pseudo resist and whatnot. So they're not really that, um, they're not really as strong. Um, like they're, they're not like, they're, they're, their mods that be like 2 KO, like things like Overdrive. Do you want to talk a little bit about Toxic City? I mean, it's pretty obvious. This mod is just a giant threat. It clicks, uh, buttons. And if you looked at the, uh, the old NU tier, if we even just look at the NU tier right now, just going through it. No, there's, there's like nothing in current in you that deals with it. Yep. The uh, best counter to it, Rose to RU by usage in the recent tier shifts, that being Porygon 2, uh, because it would just make Punk Rock backfire on it. Uh, since it both Pokemon have Punk Rock. It weakens uh, it, yeah. it, actually, Yeah, it actually weakens the damage of the moves, but it could just full switch on that two or three times. Yep. And then finally just take it out with Boom Burst. Um, Toxtricity, it's in UBL. It should be RU by usage. I think the only reason it's not RU by usage is RU also happens to have Thunderous, Ryu, and Zerkatry, all three of which are fantastic electric types. Uh, but Toxtricity uh, is re has been getting a lot of respect very recently in RU. It is, I believe, A- minus rank in the viability rankings, which just got released uh, the other day mm -hmm. for uh, RU. It is A-, minus. it is. And... And uh, very much deserved. I feel like the only reason it's not higher is because, again, those other three electric types are just that good. But Toxtricity, very deserving uh, of the A-minus rank. It should definitely be used more often. I'm glad it's not because that thing has, like, one switch in and it's easy to both switch on. Yeah, even, like, Steelix gets, uh, like, like if you look at the ground types in the RU tier that are even higher by usage, Steelix gets, like, blown back by boom burst it once it switches in once it can't switch in twice more yep. um red steel resists boom burst but doesn't appreciate overdrives or specs volt switches size and totes to a kill by boom burst and some variants are actually o code as well uh depending yeah um, so um actually uh 250 uh seismitoad uh not to cut you off there but seismitoad uh just to give you an idea of what toxicity can do to it takes 90 percent minimum from a with yep. 252 HP. Yep. So. so like it's like even with rocks, that's like that's a huge chance to KO. So uh, and you can KO without rocks yep. as well. So Toxicity, definitely one of those uh, stronger electro types. And I mean, there's a reason why it's a minus ranking. But the mons above it, Zerkatry, uh, is a fantastic scarfer in the tier. Uh, and then you have yep. Raiko and then Thunderous uh, being S rank, which is actually really interesting to me. Uh, but mm -hmm. yeah, so overall, electro types really live in their best life when it comes to the RU tier <laughs> and Toxicity. Uh, if you see there in the viability, it definitely means that not only us, but others have seen just its use as well. It's just that pipe Pokemon it doesn't have come through. And this is what, this is basically all you need. Boom Burst, Overdrive, Volt Switch, and Snarl. Uh, you could run uh, a Poison move. You could potentially run a Poison move yeah. as well. Uh, but the drawbacks yeah, of that you can, is- uh, Yeah, you can definitely get, a re get away with running Sludge Bomb or Sludge Wave mm -hmm. if you can. Uh, handle the less common ghost types because uh, Alola Marowak and Chandler well Chandler gets destroyed by Overdrive but Lightning Rod, Alola Marowak uh, it cannot switch into uh, Poison Move with Stealth Rock up yep. it, it still gets to a KO'd um, so you can definitely get away with uh, Sludge Wave because it also does much better against Porygon 2 but Snarl does have that ability to just slam Alola Marowak like if it's in Trick Room or something and you don't want it having a chance to do anything so, yeah, it can definitely get away with a poison move, but Snarl overall, I feel, is a little bit better just yeah. because the less common ghost types, you still want answers to them. And the thing with this Pokemon is that, like, most 99% of, of the time, you're clicking Moonburst uh, because yeah. it's stronger against, like, all Pokemon unless Overdrive is super effective, basically. 
Unless exactly. Super Effective Boom versus strong, it's all Pokemon. Insanely strong. It's a new and, and I made this comparison in Inu, I've even made it in RU, but it is basically x out with mild defensive utility and a switch move. Yep, yep. That's basically how it plays. Like, it wants to click Boom Burst. You get it in, you click Boom Burst. Obviously, x biggest thing is Scrappy and uh, obviously yep. Stab too, but I mean, when you got this Punk Rock, I remember when Punk Rock was Stab uh, when it first came out on Shutdown because we didn't know how it worked. Uh, it was 1.5. <laughs> it was even scarier back then. But uh, yep. very much, like, speaking of x speaking of Toxicity, another choice specs abuser right here, Porygon Z, another mod that there was no way it was going to stay. It's, it's a nuke. It's a nuke. Mm -hmm. It comes and it yep. gets damage. And even even walls like, like let's say, Registeel or stuff like that, that um, higher up in the tier. But Registeel, for instance, like you just trick it and that's it. It's crippled. Or you try attack, you have that chance to status them as well. But like if a Registeel is knocked, it's beaten. This is, this, is a steel, this is a normal type that doesn't need anything besides normal coverage to beat steel types. Um, and obviously right. the uh, the ghost types you have shadow ball for so that's all you need try attack shadow ball adaptability nasty good speed tier as well base 90 is a very good speed tier base like 80 is a very common speed tier um, in mm -hmm. in the tier so base 90 is a really nice speed tier and actually has decent bulk all around with base 85 HP base uh, 70 defense so you can actually like live like a neutral move for the most part and then trick to cripple walls and even thunderbolt as well uh, things like mantine and um, like in general just a strong move good for bulky waters too so like this is just yeah um and and something, and something else you can run over thunderbolt is a uh, boosting move either nasty pot or yeah. agility so like once you trick away your choice specs you're still a very massive threat to certain team types uh the one thing i feel that does kind of hold porygon z back is just this lack of defensive utility it's really hard to switch in like yeah it can take a neutral hit, uh under most circumstances as long as it's not choice but it just doesn't resist much of anything. It's not going to add much defensive integrity to the team. But by that same token, you're smacking stuff with adaptability, try attacks. Whatever is immune to it gets hit by Shadow Ball. Yeah, I mean, um, you, you pair it with U Turners, uh, you pair it yeah. with Volt Switchers, Flip Turn, whatever. You get that mod in, teleport. You get this mod in, you click button. That's that's what this mod yeah. does. But it, it's it, it, Gary. Like being normal type yeah, and you, not having like that, like with the exception of Lax and like Chansey. Uh, and Porygon too, um, not having that mm -hmm. defensive utility hurts in getting in a breaker like this. But again, it does have that neutral. It can take an attack in a pinch, which is pretty important when it comes to Porygon. This is really annoying for bulkier teams. Yeah, do want to mention it can also run Choice Scarf if it wants to be a bigger threat toward offense and download as well. Also, yeah, um, and Choice Scarf try attack is something offense generally outside of Cabalion is not going to switch into and even Cabalion I believe probably gets 2 a KO'd by that if it's adaptability, adaptability it's most likely get 2 a KO with Stealth Rock or like yeah like close or, or, like, or like so close it doesn't really make much yeah, of a difference it, or if it's download if it's download you can get the special attack raise they're not switching to Shadow Ball or Thunderbolt like they're 2 a KO'd so mm. yeah strong Pokemon uh, and you bands made absolute sense they're <laughs> honestly they're the same but different like they're very similar in yeah. what they do, and I think nobody expected them not to get banned. I remember recording; I was like, "Yeah, these mods are getting banned." Uh, but then we, <laughs> yeah. we shift over to PU, and uh, PU oh very similarly. Um, so if you guys look at the PU tier, PU this is the first time like PU is kind of like, like yeah, you'll see your normal mon down here, like uh, let's go like a Jolteon, Sanaconda, right? You'll see a Jolteon, Jolteon. And Sanaconda. But wait, what's this? Gigalith, Charizard in heavy duty boots, <laughs> mega a meta. Or like Mesprit was banned before, Aggron I think was banned before as well. But you have like Rose Raid down here too, Talonflame. So like PU is basically, um, it's a mix of Mons that were like, okay, yeah, these were these were PU by uses before, but it's also, it's taken so much from the NU tier. Like old NU, Olive Armor yeah. NU, like Alone Sand Slash, uh, you have Weezing, Whimsicott, Zatu type of thing. So Duraludon, if you just look through the entire tier, nothing wants to take... Choice Specs Draco Meteor, <laughs> Choice Specs Flash Cannon, and the one the mods that do don't appreciate body press. So it's just that type of mod that like even with Life Orb, right? It doesn't matter. Like this thing gets damage off. Like just literally going through the first thing. And and the big thing as well is that base eighty five speed again is such a good speed tier too. Like a lot of things are base Absolutely. eighty. Uh, obviously you have like Pokemon that's good about speed, but like for the the most part, a lot of the uh, the even the offensive mods in the tier are just like. You know base 80 around there so and just the natural defenses as well yeah. too um i think just being a, a dragon type that threatens fairy types is incredible and i think yeah that was definitely sense. huge for it it just 
limited so much as to what you can switch into it. It could even run resist berries like Shuka or Chopful if it wanted to lure in something that might normally beat it and just take it out. Um, it could set Stealth Rock if you needed it to. It could just really do it all offensively, really. Like, you could probably even get away with running Choice Scarf if you really wanted to. Yeah, one, um, one side I really, really liked, and I'm not sure how common that was in PU, but like looking at it, I would have used it, uh, was the Sub Iron Defense Body Press set. Uh, with like pulse because like it has some good natural defensive typing um steel is just amazing yeah, and dragon, steel dragon is, is really yeah good. Steel, steel is amazing and dragon is a million resist too so like like something like that could work and that allow, actually allow to beat like its counters uh very very easily so yeah and but, if, yeah uh, but basically you know, like it could just play like a uh mini dialga <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> like yeah. that's essentially what it could do like in a sense yeah like whatever it, you whatever you try to switch in it's gonna nuke with something i'm gonna tell you right now this model would be uu slash ou if it had fire blast or flamethrower in its move pool because being a steel dragon not only is that dual stab incredible but if you can hit feral thorn too without like something like body press this model would be crazy it's cool to see pu though because when i scroll through the pu tier now it looks a lot more tame because of these bands nothing stands out as like overly mm -hmm. broken like it looks balanced it looks a lot more balanced then, uh, like right. the, one of the scariest mods to switch into, besides like a Spec Zard, and even then the Gigalith isn't here. Like, like Guzzlord looks like something that's actually threatening to switch into, right? But it's held back by mm -hmm. its speed. Um, and speaking of another mod, right. another mod that was really nasty and will continue being nasty yeah. in whatever tier it's used. Xploud, Xploud got quick banned from the PU tier as well, and I mean for good reason. Like. The power creep, not it's, surprising. it's not enough, it's not <laughs> enough. I mean, just being able to click Boom Burst, doesn't matter yeah. if they have a ghost type, that doesn't care. And like even Pokemon like Gigalith, uh, Gigalith can take a Surf decently well. It's probably a 3 KO, but Focus Blast or Rocks Up, easy 2 KO. Even without Rocks Up, I think uh, Focus Blast is a 2 KO um, yeah. on that. So one prediction, do that. Focus Blast with Rocks Up, it, yeah, Focus Blast with Rocks Up, I'm pretty sure just makes it to where it's 2 KO by Boom Burst next yep. time. Yeah, it probably doesn't really that's, a, that's, always the thing, that's always the thing with x -Plow. that's always been a thing. Like, you can switch it once, and that's pretty much it. And uh, really, the only reason it dropped down to PU in the first place is because Toxtricity was that freaking good in Inu. Yeah. Just took its role. Now Toxtricity is gone. Xcloud going to be back to be, you know, really good in Inu. The only flaw it has doesn't bring much defensively to the team, but when you're hitting that hard... Do you really need a lot of defensive yeah. utility to justify using something? <laughs> That's the thing about this Pokemon. Like, it's it's not actually strong. It, like if you look at stats, they're average. All of them besides yeah. HP, um, and it's, it's attacking stats are like average at best. But when you have sh all of its moves are strong, right? Boom Burst, Fire Blast, Focus Blast, even Surf is decently strong. But uh, Boom Burst is the big one. Like when you have Stab, Boom Burst, and you don't care about the Ghost. Like, boom Burst is is ridiculous. Like no drawbacks. The only drawback is that. Yeah. The two drawbacks are that one, it's normal, but that doesn't matter because you have Scrappy, so that doesn't matter at all. Uh, and the other one <laughs> is that uh, it can't hit soundproof Pokemon, but that rarely ever matters. I did, however, see some people in PU running soundproof X Cloud to beat X Cloud, yep. which is very cool. Yeah. And yeah. I also saw yeah, that that's that's a, uh, Yeah, that, that's a tech that's been around, I believe, forever. really since uh, forever, X Cloud yeah. got Boom Burst. Yeah, and forever, forever, like, forever, that yeah. was something that uh, some players in the RU ran back then. So. Yeah, we also did that um, with a Bomb of Snow as well. Yep. So yeah, definitely not. Yeah, definitely not surprising to see this quick ban from PU. Yeah, you'll don't notice. Really see any switch yeah, in. you'll notice a trend, guys, from PU quick bans. Like yeah. it's just all strong Pokemon that hit hard. I mean, look at the the next one, Indeedy. A, a, a Pokemon <laughs> that can have access to Psychic Terrain and Expanding Force. All right. Not only that, it has yep. the ability to hit Steel types with Mystical Fire. Good staff for Dark types and Hyper Voice. You can even run Dazzling Gleam for Guzzlord. And you have Trick to Cripple everything yep. else. On top of this, not only is Indeedee strong by its own right, but it also provides excellent team support for uh, Unburning Pokemon, which were all PU yep. and lower. And on top of that, uh, even Alolan Raichu, which can take advantage of both Electric Terrain and uh, Psychic and Terrain. Yeah. Yep. So I mean, overall, strong. Uh, these are all just nukes. That's that's all they are. They are yeah. nukes. There's a Pokemon that got banned uh, from NU before, if I'm not mistaken. And now it's banned from PU. Actually, I think it might have been banned from RU. No, no, it got banned from uh, NU. The, or in all of our yeah. banned from NU. Yeah, the male got male is the one that got banned from uh, RU. I just want to. I just want to note this is the first time ever in bo knight's history that every single bo knight if you guys don't know that's a series of blender and i this actually might go up after episode one not even sure when episode one is dropping but this is the first time ever that every single bo knight 
all the way from UUBL down to PUBL has viability in OU and it actually will not suck. Like because the power <laughs> because the power creep is crazy. Like freaking I've I've used yeah. Xbloud, Machamp, Duraludon, and DD Kingdra, all of them at OU. Porygon, Toxtricity, all of them at some point. So this is this is this is yeah. really exciting. It's really exciting to see that. Yeah, and uh, just to kind of go off of it with Ndidi, um, the only reason I have high performance listed is because I think it will use that more often in Inu. Yeah. Uh, because Guzzlord is not nearly as big of a threat, and there's not really that many defensive dark types in Inu, except for like Drapion, which boys two it KOs anyway. So you don't really need Dazzling Gleam per se. So I I think this will be a pretty good pick uh, because the only real defensive checks I see for Ndidi uh, it, are uh, Bronzong and Copper Ultra, which are pretty easy to wear down because of how often people rely on them for a special tanking in general. Yep. So it's pretty easy to overload them. Uh, so I think this will be pretty good long term for uh, Inu. Uh, currently I don't feel it's like too much for the tier or broken or anything like that, but it will definitely be a good choice. Yeah, I mean, any Mon that can support another Mon, but also is just immediately crazy. Like, that's it. Uh, mm -hmm. Kingdra. Woo! I am <laughs> so glad that Rain got banned from NU. Uh, just, like, to say, because Kingdra Rain mm -hmm. is just ridiculous up there. I think Kingdra would have just moved up if, if Rain didn't get banned. If Drizzle didn't get banned, excuse me. I think that uh, Kingdra would have just moved up to the, uh, the tier, like, easily in the next shift. Oh, easily. Yeah, but because Absolutely Rain got banned, right. it didn't. But even then, uh, Rain was allowed for a bit. Uh, but on top of that, Kingdra <laughs> has the scope lens set, and it has good bulk all around. So the scope lens set, it can manual Rain is also definitely scary for this Pokemon too. Mm -hmm. uh, and like, not yeah. luck. There, there, there are Pokemon that can take hits. Don't get me wrong, but like the Pokemon that can take hits, like Wish Vaporeon, they don't. They lose to the scope lens set. Uh, and right. Hurricane was a great addition to this Pokemon too. A really great addition to it. Very spammable. It's nice. I still, find, I still find it funny it can create a hurricane. Like, it's believable, but it's still kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's, uh, that's but just... yeah, Kingdra... Yeah, Kingdra is still going to have use in Aryu because Rain uh, Drizzle is not banned up there. And it is definitely one of the top uh, Swiss swimmers that uh, Aryu Drizzle teams would have access to. And that's kind of what I have listed here. Like, the typical set you would run on Aryu Rain teams. Yeah. Obviously, like an Inu, you're going to have more Kratos to Scope Lens, uh, but like Inteleon is down there, and I feel like just does that better because of the high air speed initially. So like it doesn't need to set up agility and focus energy to threaten offense. But uh, obviously manual rain, it can still mess up Inu teams that are not ready for it. So it's going to see use in Inu and RU. I don't think it'll get to RU by usage ever, but if you ever see a rain team in RU, Expect to see Kingdra. Yeah. If you want to use a ranked team in RU, Kingdra should be one of your first picks. Easily, easily. Great abuser. You can also put Flip Turn if you want to use Specs. So. Yep, absolutely. Uh, you can definitely use uh, Troy Specs over Life Orb for the rain set in RU with Flip Turn uh, over Surf. Yep. So next up we have Machamp. Uh, just another standard. I mean, Machamp and PU. Come on, guys. Oh it's a Guts abuser. <laughs> it's it's really bulky. It's really bulky. Uh, like. Above average bulk, I would say, because base 90, then uh, then you have the average bulk. Base 90 is a good uh, bulk yeah. tier, and then base 90. On top of that, obviously, the base 130 attack. And then, I mean, Guts is just, it's a, choice, it's a free choice band boost. It's a free choice band boost, close common knock off facade, bullet punch, flame orb. You're, burnt, you're only taking 6%, not 12 anymore. And just look at the tier, man. Like, this thing does not have switch ins. Your best way of dealing with it is your Rocky Helmet Mons pivoting in or not letting it come in. Like, even Mons like Weezing, if they ran neutralizing gas, they still take a good chunk from facade since that doesn't matter. It still does about like 30, yeah. 30, 35% or so because it's coming off of uh, Machamp. Like they might be neutralizing the guts, but right. they can't neutralize the way f uh, facade works with uh, burn. Exactly. Yeah. So, and then they get knocked off as well. You just break them through defensive thing. This thing doesn't have defense. A lot of off uh, fighting types don't really have too much defensive counterplay. The big thing is they're slow. But when you're looking through the tier and all these psychic types got banned too. <laughs> and and they're not, none of these mons, yep. none of these mons that got banned can switch into Machamp. That's the thing. They can go. All these mons can kill Machamp 1v1. Uh, specs, Specs, Scarf, whatever. Uh, specs, they can all kill Machamp, but they can't come in on Machamp because Machamp will kill them. Nope. So, exactly. Nasty Pokemon. Um, yeah, and kind of similar to uh, X-File. The only reason it 
dropped the PU in the first place is because there was something there that directly outclassed it and then you Machamp kind of same thing. The only reason it dropped down the PU in the first place is because Pangoro and Beware are tearing up Inu right now. So, like, yeah, Machamp, Machamp's really good in its own right. Like, there's nothing wrong with Machamp and Inu on its own. Its problem is just competition. That's the only reason it dropped the PU in the first place. If uh, Inu ever ends up suspect testing and subsequently banning, like, Pangoro or Beware, then you're going to see Machamp rise up. Yep. Uh, it's got some tools. Uh, it just need it just needs a little less competition to truly shine. Yep. Another one that's just like there was no way this mod was going to be allowed. Uh, Raichu. Not only does it have two terrains to abuse with uh, Pinkurchin mm -hmm. or uh, Nidhi. Yep. On top of that, just ignoring that completely, amazing coverage, access to nasty plot, but it has a great speed tier before Surge Surfer. Right. Base one ten is a exactly. phenomenal speed tier, and when you have the ability to be fighters beat grounds beat uh grass types because of your psychic right like rose ray resists rising voltage and, and grass knot and surf and focus blast but oh stab psychic stab psy shot um you have a speed tier faster than uh heliolisk right and the mons that are faster yeah. than you they don't kill you like, unless they're like maybe maybe like uh, uh what's it called uh freaking uh br flare blitz from like an offensive talent flame might put down right because it's base 50 so it probably does put it down but that's about it yeah like it's yeah, or a yeah beta beta u-turn also wouldn't feel good at all yeah yeah I, yeah obviously yeah but uh <laughs> even then like it, it's not a pokemon that, that does well because of its resistances but it's the fact that it's tar it's hard to switch into had double its speed yeah. and like rising voltage in terrain is broken because the mons that are immune to rising <laughs> voltage you just grass not or surf or focus blast uh, or psychic, depending on what they are, yep. and uh, or even just volt switch on. Like, let's say you have sand and giggle if they can take a hit, or like if you're just using spec, like, even then you just volt switch around. So I mean, it, it makes sense that this mm -hmm. mod is going to be banned. And they're not going to ban the uh, terrain setter, right? They're not going to ban Pinkurchin, um, because Pinkurchin yeah, no. isn't inherently busted. It does make a lot of good in Burden Pokemon and the Surge Surfer Mon good. It's not, but it's not in DD. Indeed, he has expanding force and makes broken. Yeah, Pinkurchin right. has Pinkurchin has rising voltage and, and scald, which is pretty cool. And sucker punch and like things like that support moves too, but it doesn't have the speed nor the HP to really uh, do anything with that good typing, right? But Raichu, yeah, just, like, it's crazy. Yeah, like there was like when I saw this drop, I'm like, no way this stays. Like absolutely no way. <laughs> um, as you mentioned, it just really doesn't have any defensive switch chains. You you can even run Nasty Plot over Volt Switch if you wanted to just go for an all-out sweep. Um, over, like, there, it can even benefit from Psychic Terrain, too. Like, if you uh, took, took out Rising Voltage, put in Thunderbolt, uh, um, it can benefit from Psychic Terrain, too, because it's uh, it, it's just that good. It's got Expanding Force in its moveset, so it can work on Psychic Terrain. Uh, yeah, there was just no way it was going to stay. Like, it was just too good for the tier. Uh, I th I think it uh, it will be kind of underrated in you. I'm not sure it will ever truly really be consistent, just because um, the bulk level is a good bit higher. The speed a is a little bit higher. Yeah. Um, so I don't think it'll ever truly be consistent in in you. But you can certainly get wins with it. Like it's not. Oh man, you should never use this ever. It's a ter terrible Pokemon. There's no way to use it. You can. It's just going to be inconsistent. I would not. I would definitely recommend it for the more experienced player in the tier that knows what to expect. Um, but it's definitely usable. You can definitely see it as you're playing, and you need to know what it's going to do. It's going to mess stuff up in electric terrain if you're not careful. Yep. That's just that's right. You is. Uh, it's funny because the next mod also benefited heavily Talk about, from here's here's terrain, terrain. here's terrain here's uh, terrain benefits the Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't. It like psychic. It's like psychic terrain. It like grassy terrain from Thwacky. It's like electric terrain from Pinkurchin. Um, and honestly, like if you look at the tier, grass, rock, and fighting coverage, everything, everything, yeah, everything dealt yeah. with. Everything dealt with. Rose Raid, unfortunately, doesn't have any defense. You could also put acrobatics on the set as well. Uh, acrobatics could yep. be on this set too, mm -hmm. um, over either Rock Slide yep. or Drain Punch, depending. I think it's yeah, usually over, over either coverage yeah, move. Yeah, it's usually over Rock Slide, I would say, because I think Drain Punch or Earthquake, if you're not using it with Grass Seed, Earthquake is better versus Steels. Um, yeah, all around. But uh, yeah, so Acro is an option, and I mean, again, you're giving fast Pokemon 
tools and also the seeds giving it ability to set up like septile isn't bulky by no means but it does scare out ground types which don't hurt hit it for too much it does scare out something like uh potentially a weak and giggle if they need their sand or if you need the Vaporeon for the team so it right it scares out um pokemon that's just what it does um <laughs> But yeah, I, yeah, like, like it's gonna be similar to Alolan Raichu in, in UICL. I don't think it's ever truly gonna be consistent, but it'll mess you up if you're not ready for it. Uh, Acrobatics definitely has a lot more merit in Inu because of how good Vile Plume is. Like, you definitely cannot do okay with that with Rock Slide. Yeah. Uh, so you'll kind of have to pick: do you want to one shot Vile Plume, or do you want to one shot stuff like Talon Flame or Weaken Defensive Arcanine? Um, so that's kind of a choice I have to make based on the team, but overall, like, Sceptile benefit from too much. <laughs> like, you can, like, it, like I said, it's terrain beneficiary of the Pokemon yep. in uh, PU, because it could work under any terrain, it could sweep under any terrain, and even though, like, grassy terrain was generally the best for it, because it gave it a boost to leaf its uh, leaf plate, um, Psychic Terrain protected it from priority, which was a common way to revenge kill it outside of Psychic Terrain. And Electric Terrain meant uh, you couldn't like do weird yawn shenanigans or anything like that. And it resists Electric, so even your boosted Electric attacks, like, they're not going to knock it out in one hit. Yep. I mean, you're giving a base 120 Pokemon double the speed. Or, like, like, these things are beating Rain <laughs> just because of <laughs> their natural speed, specifically Raichu, mm -hmm. in that yep. regard. And another Mon that, uh, again, Beware and Pangoro kind of outclassed it in the higher tier, um, Sir Fetch. Oh, you put Sheer Force here. Oh, you meant Scrappy. That's weird. Why does Sheer uh, Force pull up? That, that doesn't matter. I don't know why. It didn't matter. But yeah, you have Sir yeah. Fetch. And uh, again, like a Pokemon that doesn't have to worry about what it clicks because of its stab move. And then you have uh, Knockoff, which is here. And then you have First Impression, which is great for checking something like Raichu or Psychic Type. Or even, not only yeah. just specifically Pokemon that are weak to it, but even like weakened or like not bulky, sh like faster Pokemon. For instance, something like Roserade probably drops after Stealth Rock to a Choice Band First Impression um, or something close, at least if you're adamant. Uh, just going through the tier. And I think the cool thing about Surfetch is that while it doesn't have good HP, its defense and special defense are uh, defense about, you know, average, close, almost above average, and special defense is about average. So, like, this mom will eat a random hit. Like, you don't have to go max right. speed either. But I think one of the benefits is, like, you're faster than Machamp and Down, which is pretty big uh, for this Pokemon. Yeah. You're faster than, like, Min Speed Clay Dolls. You're, you're, you're just mm -hmm. eating hits and you're, you're constantly dealing damage. Um, I know that, uh, I think Poison Jab was something that. You could run too, but yeah, like yeah you could definitely use poison jab for berries, uh, yeah. which would definitely put down Sylveon, yeah, uh, in, in you. So, uh, yeah, uh, Surfetch, it, it's kind of similar to Machamp. Like, the only reason it drops in the first place is because of Pangoro and Beware being an in you. So, just like Machamp, it's got the tools if either of those ever end up getting banned from in you, which I can definitely see happening. So as far as PU is concerned, there's no way that's was staying down there. Uh, it's too powerful, good priority, could hit pretty much anything it wanted to. So, again, no surprise to see this thing going. Yeah, I mean, it's just, uh, it's just a strong Pokemon, like, period. You get it in, you click buttons. Yeah. And like I said, I'm so happy that all the mods that are, like, BL Knights are so good. Like... <laughs> They're all great, and it doesn't stop. You just go through all the tiers. They're amazing. So it's it's just so cool, uh, and yeah, uh, like you said, I don't. If the other fighters, uh, specifically Pangoro, if Pangoro ends up getting banned from the NU tier, especially because mm -hmm. um, Mian uh while it's currently NU, it's amazing in RU, uh, will most likely move up right. to the RU tier, and obviously Pangoro, the closest the closest fighting type that has like Mian Shao's type or like that does what Mianshaw does is Passimian. Um right. because it U-turns and it, it, it clicks close combat knocks off whatever. Um basically the same thing, just yeah. less speed. Yeah. Uh and, and regenerator versus defiant, which is you know, that's those are two amazing abilities either way. Like Exactly. Like you'll you'll probably see something like that be picked up as well, but like these fighters as well for sure. Um so we're gonna talk about Pokemon that are not necessarily are you yet, but are are you sleepers. Uh, do you want to cover the first one, Deancy? 
I even so, got through the, uh, uh, I'll go through the vibe. I, I have the viability showing right next to it. So, I mean, you can right. see what DNC beats immediately, guys. Yeah. So DNC is definitely one of the uh, better defensive stealth rock setters in the tier. It checks a lot of different Pokemon. Um, it getting body press was so good because yeah. now it has a way to threaten steel types. That's something it really couldn't do consistently before. Earth power isn't that uh, strong because, coming off of base like, 100, yeah. Like, like Earth power is not bad, but most of the most steel types are especially defensive. So being able to hit them for physical damage is really good. And uh, like, yeah, overall it's very solid. Uh, can handle, uh, can blanket check a lot of special attackers in the tier. And yeah, just, just, just to name a few, Thunder, it, it can check Thunderous, it checks Noivern, um, mm -hmm. checks Toekiss. So, like, these are all like high tier mons. And defensively as well, checking Crobat eats a hit from Heracross and a pinch, Mian Shao and a pinch. Uh, with Diamond Storm giving its boosted defense, it can even 1v1 Registeals on, uh, on a good day. Um, yeah. <laughs> on a good day. Uh, resist Darmanta yeah. Flare Blitz, eats up Chandler's Fire Move and Shadow Ball as well, just because of its natural typing. Like, even, you know, check things like Goon. So, like, just going through the list, it has some yeah, good... Yeah, like... Yeah, and even, even some of the more offensive stuff that beats it, like, uh, just... Let's take, for example... Volcanion? Um, Not a Pokemon that switches into it. Yeah, t yeah, Volcanion doesn't switch into it. Z uh, Zynog doesn't switch into it. Um... Like, Rhyperior this... gets shipped very easily by it. Does this EV spread allow it to live a band of Thousand Arrows? I'm assuming. Uh, I'm assuming. I, I'm i not certain on that. I know the uh, spread is mainly to give Body Press a little bit more power behind mm -hmm. it, especially once you start boosting your defense. Um, and it definitely handles uh, um, Darmanic a little bit better. Mm -hmm. uh, it might take a thousand arrows. That's gonna be close because <laughs> that's I mean, a powerful move. Yeah, Zyros are very powerful. Like base one hundred might not. Like if you get the but... like obviously if you get the uh, defense boost as it tries to switch in. Not that it never should, but if it tries to, uh, like on an obvious diamond storm yeah. or something. Yeah, it does live a thousand arrows. Well, 70, switch, yeah. Seventy-seven and ninety-one. Yeah. So yeah, it can barely hang on to that and kill it back with Moonblast. <laughs> Yep. So yeah, it's it's a very solid defensive Pokemon. It obviously, uh, as a defensive Stealth Rock setter, is going is just bound to face competition from stuff like Steelix and Seismitoad and. I mean, the um, big thing about this over like even Licks and uh, not Seismitoad too, but like Licks specifically is like you're a Stealth Rocker that can beat some of the more dominant Pokemon. Uh, and, like you don't even need luck. Like in Thunderous's case, right? Uh, it needs to not be yeah. Grass Knot, so Seismitoad would beat it, and it needs to not hit Focus Blast, so Steelix might be able to beat it if it's running Head Smash. Uh, but in that regard, like, mm -hmm. Dance easily takes plus two Thunderbolt and just, like, does it back with Diamond Storm, right? But you're also a Stealth Rocker that consistently beats the Defoggers. Noivern Yeah, I was just, I was just and, yeah. about to, yeah. yeah. I was Noivern just about to bring that up, to, yeah. like... All these flyers, um, all these these def this is a Defogger, even Togekiss is a Defogger, if it wants to be, and Crobat, you're consistently mm -hmm. beating them like no matter what. Yeah, like you, like you don't you don't really care about what they do. Uh, like Noivern and Crobat, yeah, they can talk if they want to, but are they really gonna stay in? <laughs> yeah, on you exactly. And you're not um, getting chipped by flamethrower from Noivern or random heat wave from. I actually fought Sludge uh, Sludge Bomb Crobat, which is interesting to me because obviously it deals with like uh, bulk up Zarude a little bit better because it can live a plus one yeah. Darkest Lair, even a plus two one depending. Um, and Sludge Bomb is a two AKO uh, without having to you know go for obviously like u-turn and get on out of there and give them more boost even if they're four times right so mm -hmm. yeah it's cool to see that um this pokemon uh and just some great i think leftovers is always going to be the preferred item you can uh couple you, if you don't want it to use your stealth rocker which i think it's a great stealth rocker so you should you can play heel bell on yeah. it too heel bell is also an option uh decent yeah, cleric and you uh, pair this with like a bulky water it's great yeah and uh you can also if you i did run into this um a few days ago, but you can also use it as a trick room setter. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't feel that's his best role, but uh, max attack, diamond storm, that actually hurts quite a bit. Yeah, and then you're boosting your defense while doing it, so your body press gets stronger yeah, as well. Exactly. And you're running the uh, same set, but you're, yeah. yeah. You don't need exactly. to run. You don't need to run earth power. There, don't like earth. The only thing that earth power hits harder than your boosted body presses would be steelix initially. That's it. But like red yeah, steel and, run special defense. And Mag yeah. magnet zone too. Yeah, 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 zone obviously, yeah. That's a big one too. But yeah. uh, even then, 
I love this mod. I I always love the ANC, like in every tier I've used it. Like yeah, in draft league and in, in UU. Oh, I messed up the EV spread. Whatever, it's gone now. <laughs> now the next Pokemon, uh, and I think you can slash Stone Edge or Poison Jab. Obviously, Stone Edge hitting Crobat is important and Thunderous. Um, maybe mm -hmm. you can't slash it now that I'm thinking about it. like Poison Jab is a slash for specifically hitting like a hundred percent versus Togekiss and like Sylveon and things like that too. But Mian Shao is another good Pokemon. It's an NU Pokemon, and it is an RU sleeper for sure. Uh, I also want to note that you can run Assault Vest on it with Regenerator 2. And Assault Vest can, yep. again, like live a random Thunderbolt from Life Orb Thunderous. Uh, live Raikou's Thunderbolt as well. Has a really good speed tier. Speed type is a root is actually very important. And just getting that... Uh, you have that utility in Knockoff plus U-Turn. Uh, and obviously, again, you can run Stone Edge or so Poison Jab on that. Yeah, it's just a great one. It's it's fantastic. It's a good Scarfer as well. I think its speed, its base speed is one of the biggest things, right? Like even Speed Tie, where like Scarf's rude, but being faster than like Scarf's Zergatry, I think is a big thing for a Scarfer. Um, and now that it has close combat, you don't have to you, you don't have to risk high jump kick, uh, but you can also use Reckless high jump kick if you want more power. I think currently close combat is better, especially because even the Steel types sometimes run Protect. So yeah, and Re and Regenerator is just so good for it. Like I was a uh... I was even watching a game on the ladder earlier because I will do that to kind of get team ideas or mm. core ideas. And uh, there, there's literally uh, like like both the people I was watching, they were playing pretty well for the most part. And there was like a toxic spike down. I mean, Chao was down at one point at like 10%. Then it switched out a couple of times. Regen gave it literally just enough health to deal with uh, poison damage to claim five kills to win the game um so that i mean that's just an example like you can play so aggressively with me and me and like if you know you're going to live a hit and ko back you can do that and then switch around a couple of times with u-turn th throughout the mid game and all of a sudden you're at like 65 70 percent just outside of priority range of most things and can just go on a tear and clean up the game you can't do that with something like Zarude, which is another very good Scarfer in the tier, but it doesn't have that capability. Like, the damage it takes, it, it sits there, unless you give it, like, Lunar Dance or Healing Wish or something like that. Me and Chao can recover its own health, like, throughout the game. Like, you can play it aggressively, and I feel that's one of the biggest selling points for it. Yeah, easily. Uh, just being able to always come back is the biggest thing. Like, you could be at like 2% and Stealth Marker up and you just switch it out and you're back at 34, 35%. Like, that's so big about it too. Uh, and that's why I think Assault Vest is decent as well. Like, it, it doesn't want to come in on status moves like Scald and stuff, but just being able to no, live yeah. like Scarfer's attacks I think is pretty big for this mod. It's not the bulkiest at all, but that random Assault Vest regenerator is always strong. Now we have Durant. I know you love Durant. You want to talk a little bit about this month? Uh, biggest thing that comes Durant to mind, by wild. the way, faster than Zarude. <laughs> faster than Zarude is so yeah. huge. Yeah, first impression. Yeah, and even if, yeah, and even if Zarude is Scar, if you got first impression, to just not care. Um, but yeah, Durant is really good. Um, not enough good things I can say about it. Uh, it has very limited switch ins, and the few switch ins it has, you can stopping tantrum or superpower. Um, I like Stomping Tantrum a little bit more simply because it covers Chandelier and Steels and Deblade in the same slot. But you, if you want like a much stronger hit on Kabalion, for example, which you do outspeed, uh, like, and if you know it's not Choppleberry, like you're taking Rocky Helmet damage with something already, so you know it's not Choppleberry, Superpower will drop that in one hit. Um, now the excess are here, mainly so you have a Bug Stab for after the first turn. Uh, as I feel that is really, <laughs> really nice if you're wanting to late game sweep with it. Uh, you could also run home claws somewhere here if you wanted to, uh, to not deal with hustle misses because that's going to happen. That is a thing with this Pokemon and it sucks. But as long as you hit, it hurts. Yeah. <laughs> like, it hurts. <laughs> yeah, it's it's, uh, it's a freaking threat. I guess the big thing, hustle's the biggest thing, but like... I mean, that's why a lot of people hate hustle mons, right? Like, yo, it's and it's banned from NU because when it hits, it's busted. But like, it's not something that's like it's usually a mon that's banned from RU, by the way. Just for you, everybody watching, mm -hmm. like, it's usually yep. a mon that's banned from RU. Um, but it's just that Pokemon, like, you know how broken Hustle Drake is can be, especially with Bolt Beak, right? But are you gonna hit? 
the thing about this Pokemon is though that with Bug and Steel, even with like crappy HP and crappy special defense, that good natural defensive typing is like the resistances that you take. Like you'll take a normal, you'll, you'll take like a you don't have to because you have first impression, but you can take a thousand arrows from like Zydog uh, because of that great natural defense and. You do have free turns to attack with this mod. You do. Yeah. Because the opponent's going to switch out unless they, they don't, they can't, right? For the most part. Yeah. So it sucks to miss. It's like missing exactly. a Toxic on a switch and you're not going to get that chance again, but maybe you will. <laughs> just because Duran's faster. Uh, it's just a strong, really, really strong Pokemon. That yeah. should, I mean, if, again, if you go through like S rank, dude, you do like 70 something percent to Thunderous with first impression. <laughs> I, just to let you know. Yeah. Yeah, it's a Rude Drops, Noivern. Um, doesn't like iron yeah. Yeah. yeah you want to be crazy you run rock slide 60 like 60 percent rock slide <laughs> or if you really get, want to get on the wild side stone edge well that's actually 60 um, percent yeah. i'm pretty sure but... <laughs> but yeah like uh there's there's very uh there's like i say it just doesn't have a lot of switches uh the only thing really holding it back is um it's great it's, it's, it's greatest attribute is what's holding it back yeah the hustle makes it so powerful that 20% of the time it will just do nothing and probably go down for it because it has miserable special bolts. Like it can take it can take a physical hit, but it's definitely not taking a physical or a special hit anytime soon that isn't resistant. Yep. Let's uh let's talk about one Pokemon that's like crazy that this mod is like Why so is this down in Pew? I don't. It's, it's insane. Like, I mean, you, you get rid of hidden power and you think this mod is stupid. Like, no, man. Rose Raid, this is an, a DPP OU threat. Still really good. Okay? This is a DPP OU threat. It don't matter. Yeah, a, uh, this is exactly what a it top, ran. There's a top threat in RU last gen. Yep. Um, oh, one of my favorite like, mods. Like, yeah, like Rose Raid is really good in both RU and NU. I would not be surprised in the slightest if either one of these tiers take it. Um, the next tier shift we have, which is actually a couple months from now, is <laughs> we're finally back to the typical three month tier shift, which is a nice change. But uh, Rose Raid overall, like, it's really good um, in NU and RU, respectively. Yep. In RU, uh, I feel there is more credence to synthesis, as there are just more Pokemon that deal with it often, like, defensively. Like, even if you sleep powder or Registeel, like, you're never really doing anything to it other than spiking. Yeah, um, random leech seed, but not even. Yeah, so, like, Synthesis is definitely a viable alternative to sleep powder and RU, uh, simply because it gives you more longevity, lets you check stuff for longer periods of time, and lets you set spikes for longer periods of time. Like, sure, it doesn't really like Defoggers, but Noivern doesn't really care to switch in. It's pretty easy to pressure Crobat. So... I feel if RU doesn't take it, and you will, and RU will eventually take it, because it's like, gonna it's gonna balance kinda, and then you. That's a big thing. It's really yeah, gonna like, balance. Yeah, like it's uh, it's freaking A minus rank in uh, RU viability rankings right now. Um, only reason we're not showing NU viability rankings, uh, they've not been released yet. They are currently in a suspect test, and in all likelihood, they are waiting until that is over. Uh, so, in case you're wondering where those were and why we're only using RU viability ranks, that's why. Yep. Um, but yeah, Rose Ray is good in Inu. Um, you can also go like Life Orb Giga Drain instead of like Life Orb Leaf Storm or, uh, or just Black Sludge Leaf Storm. Uh, I definitely like having some way of recovery outside of Synthesis because Natural Cure is really good to absorb Skulls. Um, and if you want to take multiple of those to make Bulky Water as a non factor against your team, then you need some passive way to keep yourself somewhat healthy. Yeah, I see some people running, through... on, running like on sun too, like with weather ball as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. not, obviously not the strongest sun abuser, but being able to get spikes for sun is pretty cool. Uh, Shadow yeah. ball is also an option if you want to chip like bronze on, but yeah, just sleep bronze on and switch out. <laughs> like in my opinion, sleep, <laughs> yeah. sleep and spike or sleep, sleep as it switches in and get your free spike and then go out to something that actually threatens yeah. it. Like Rose Raid's yeah, strong Rose suit is its natural resistance to water. That's the big one, right? Water and electric. It's great special defense and natural cure with it. So it can actually status. Yeah, absorb. and yeah, and even though toxic spikes aren't big in either are you or in you, on the off chance that you do encounter one, then you get extra defensive utility out of Rose Raid because it'll just absorb them upon switching in. Yep. Strong mod. Strong mod. Definitely a sleeper pick. Yep.
Talon Flame. Hey, I like this pit. I like this uh, this set as well. I think you can uh, yeah, slash Tal taunt on it too if you want for Stallbreaker. Yeah, uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, Defog is an option, like um, because it's got the boots, it's got Flame Body. Uh, a lot of physical attackers do not like dealing with this. Um, this is arguably the best Kaparaja switch in for the new tier. Yeah, it, um, literally because, the only move it can run is like Rock Slide if it has that. But like, yeah, it which gives us so only much. Assault Vest variants are really going to have. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, you're giving up so much because you need Stealth Rock, you want Heavy Slam, you want Heat Crash for Bronzong and Opposing Steel. You want Power well. Whip. Yeah, and you want Power Whip as well. And if you don't use Power Whip for Bulky Waters, you might want Earthquake uh, too. So it's like yeah for opposing Kaparaja. Yeah. So yeah, like Talonflame. Like I've been using it actually a fair bit. It is a very fun Pokemon to use. Um, something else to note: uh, we have uh, Will O' Wisp and Brave Bird listed here as like the status move and stab move. Uh, you can easily switch around to Toxic and Flare Blitz, which yeah. is actually what I've been personally running. Um, I feel like they're alternative options because I think Will O' Wisp does a better job of. Handling what talent flame typically switches into, which is physical attackers. But you, you can't have, get to flame yeah. body. Yeah, like like if you can't get to flame body and you need that burn to live the next hit, then you've got Will O' Wisp to bail you out. Um, but Toxic is definitely useful, especially if you're using Flare Blitz, because then you have Flare Blitz to offensively deal with Kaparaja. Yep, and uh, again, like you don't you have the flame body, so you can deal with it via that. So I also like Toxic for mm -hmm. like bulky Arcanine. And uh, the bulky waters yeah. as well don't appreciate toxic. Like, Willow is no, just whatever to them because they have leftovers yeah. against a lot. But toxic, toxic can be game changing, yeah. especially if you run like, a, yeah. like this can stall out a man time if it wants to, especially if you run more speed. You don't have to run max speed. That's a big thing as well. You don't have to run max speed. Like, yeah, it's just it's just the generally preferred option because of the speed tier it has. Yeah. And Costume if you Star, need to KO yeah, something yeah. with yeah. a stab move, yeah, if you need to KO something with a stab move or chip something faster with U turn. You have that option, and it's still got. I mean, it's not the bulkiest thing out there, but it's not meant to wall really powerful offensive threats. It's meant to be an interim measure that hampers them long enough for your more offensively inclined teammates to get into a better position to pressure them. Yep. Just a good Copperage switching, a good Sylveon switching too, which is why, again, I think Toxic is a little bit stronger at times. Yeah. And you can depend on Flame Body and. But yeah, like again, a fire type that's really good, and also like switching into defensive Arcanine is nice. Like flamethrower, Willow is teleport, Morning Sun. You don't give a damn about that mod. That mod does nothing. That mod right. is not the one v one. So yeah, probably getting flame body the first time it hits you anyway. <laughs> oh, flame body, okay. If it goes for like burn off and stuff, yeah. Uh, uh what's it called? Uh, what's yeah. That, what's that move that makes it lose its typing? Uh, burnout or burnout. Something, like yeah, something like that. Yeah, something like that. I forgot what it's called. Uh, Heliolisk. Yeah. Ooh, I like this set you have. Your nice boots. Yeah. Yeah, so Heliolisk um, is very similar to how Raikou plays in RU generally, which is basically pivoting around with really good coverage and heavy duty boots and a great speed tier. Uh, Raikou does basically the same thing in RU incredibly well. And Heliolisk can do very similar things in NU. It's got great speed tier, good deal staff combination, Grass Knot to deal with stuff like Gastrodon that would want to try to wall it. And overall, it's just really solid, uh, especially defensive Kaparasha and Bronson look annoying, but if you're just constantly spamming Volt Switch, Switch you're doing guess damage. what? Guess what? They don't got recovery. Can't so. wear you down with Hazard, which is why Boots is such yeah. a blessing for offensive Mons. Like, yeah, it really exactly. is. It's such a great speed tier, too. Like, so you're, you're, you're checking something like Inteleon and, and, and Starmie to an extent. You know, you're checking them. I, I say you're very loosely checking them, but like this with Stealth Rock Op is... A big threat, like a very, very, very big threat. Um, yeah, very annoying too. Yeah, very, very. Just, the, gra just, the grass types, the grass types you want to bring in on it, uh, get hit pretty decently well by hyper voice like Vileplume. Can't yeah. doesn't like it wants to like. If stealth, like, if stealth rock oh, physically not to a kill, yeah, yeah, like uh, it's just really solid. Um, I, and I'm not really sure why. Um, well, I guess I know why. Like toxicity was around, and now, yeah, I mean toxicity is better. Gone. Wait, was yeah, better. like like now toxicity is gone. Like this is kind of what you should be using. Uh, you're trading power for speed, basically. Yep. With these two, um, and dry skin is really good, similar to rose Rain, Um, just making bulky waters virtually a non-factor. Like they can never really safely click skull. 
because that just heals you if you take residual damage from a prior switch in or like or maybe you get like burned by a will-o-wisp or hit with a toxic earlier in the match and boom, you just heal 25 percent because you switched into something you counter yeah this you pair this with something like Voplum, they work really well together too i love them mm -hmm. i love them together obviously with like a like something that was like a, a bulky water as well and then you have another mon that was actually uh at a point like slated in ru stupid chair shut up oh, sorry that was like <laughs> slated in ru <laughs> And um, uh, it's Senescorch. Uh, Senescorch, you have it as an NU sleeper. Now, why do you think Senescorch is an NU sleeper pick? And I love how you have offensive Senescorch here, too. Yep, so Senescorch, it's, kind, it's similar to Talonflame. I don't think it's as good as Talonflame. I do want to get that out of the way right now. But I do feel it deals with bulky waters a lot better than Talonflame does. So it's a bit more difficult to de um, defensively handle. Uh, because its coverage is way better, it's got knockoff or utility power wit to deal with stuff like um, Mudsdale if it's worn down a decent amount, uh, like if it switched into you a couple of times already, like took a knockoff, took a fire lash, and now it's at like about 50%, you probably knock that out with power whip after like a stealth rock switch in or something like that. Um, it still deals with Kaparaja decently well. Um, it's obviously way more susceptible to uh, like Earthquake, and then you've got to pick if you want to try passively neuter it with Flame Body, which makes you way more susceptible to Heat Crash, or if you want to go Flash Fire to just absorb fire attacks, which is very good in its own right, because that makes you really annoying for defensive Arcanine if they lack Toxic, uh, because typically they're going to be like Teleport, Status move, Morning Sun, Will Fire. Wisp, yeah, like they're. Like, um, yeah. And so if they pick Will O Wisp instead of Toxic, then you straight up all that. You don't care about it. Yeah. And like, Defensive I mean, Arcanine has definitely been picking up steam lately. So. And it runs Intimidate too, like so said, you can Fire Lash beat them if you want. Like in the one v one scenario, they won't beat you one v one. Obviously, they can't touch you. Yeah. But. Yeah. So like, like I said, I don't think it's as good as Talonflame. I think Talonflame is just easier to fit on a team. The better speed is really good for it. But it's got use. Like it, it's Z right now. That has no business being down there. I don't think. Freaking. And it's scorch. definitely viable in in you. Uh, you do have to support it a little bit more than Town of Flame, I feel. But it's still solid. Yeah, I mean, I like this set too because, like, even knocking off like a defensive Mudsdale. Yeah, Mudsdale's gonna beat you one v one. But you get rid of Mudsdale's item. That's it. There's no recover for that boy. So you get Stealth Rock and you know the constant Fire Lashes or Power Whips. Yeah, I guess the the stamina. But again, you're just it's item is gone and like you get you have some natural resistances mm -hmm. that you know like you'll take celebi's hit you have really good hp and really good special defense like a boost of celebi will not kill you uh so I mean, you obviously ko it back i love i love set of scorch i really do i wish they gave it speed boost like that would have been nasty speed boost coil it should have it should have been like scolipede the fire bug version of uh, <laughs> i think it would have been, would've been wild yeah. it would have been man oh it definitely would have been banned from are you probably banned from you you too whatever <laughs> that's too good coverage <laughs> i'm glad they didn't give it that it would have been too much but i wish they gave it more <laughs> speed man like come on give me base 100 at least let me see yeah, or at least like at minimum 80. I was gonna say a minimum base base eighty or base eighty five, so it's yeah. a use, like a usable offensive speed too. Yeah, but even then, like this mod was just like crazy back in RU like not too long ago, so it's interesting. Yeah, it's and it's it's down in ZU. Like at worst, it should be PU, and it does have viability in NU. It just requires a little more support than Talonflame, Flame, but it can still do well. It can do some things Talonflame Flame can't, like beating defensive Arcanine one v one is really fun. Um, being able to be annoying to Musdale as a, a physical attacker is really nice. Just a fire type that knocks off items, I think, is very important because be, mm -hmm. uh, fire types have like very common switchings, right? Your bulky water or your your ground type that can eat it, right? Like Flygon, Mudsdale, whatever, knocking off heavy duty boots, knocking off leftovers, knocking off whatever it's running, just helps out in the long run. Even like Flygon's case, like you're yeah. still doing a ton with Leech Life as well back and if it switches into fire lash and you have the the the, the choice band leech life following it up you know what i mean yeah so, yeah it's definitely uh definitely a, a pokemon that is slept on one of the big thing as well uh like if they're running like a support flag on even though i like dragon and throat chop the most because it beats like sylveon that's not running a moonblast 
Um, and it hits yeah. Bonzong as well in the same thing, like Celebi and stuff. Uh, if they're like support and they're running Scorching Sands variant, like plus U turn instead of Earthquake because they don't care about being burnt by defensive Arcanine, I mean, Santa Scorch one mm -hmm. runs that and it can't be burnt. So. Exactly. And Coil obviously, Coil obviously can be on uh, this set as well, guys. Like you can run Coil. Yeah, yeah, you can use Coil. Um, I just like the extra coverage you have with Power Whip being able to one shot a Gaster Zone or. Yeah really tear into a Mudsdale, especially if it's been worn down already by switching into you earlier. Uh, but yeah, Coil is usable, um, for sure, but I, like I said, I do like Power Whip in the current meta. I feel it's a little too fast for Coil to be consistent, but that doesn't mean you can't use it, especially like PU, I imagine it'd be a lot better with Coil because it's not as fast, doesn't hit as hard. It's sort of like, I'm talking about the meta around it. Uh, um, and the bulk level is much lower. Yeah. Overall, I think these are all just like Pokemon that you guys should try out if you would like to get into the tiers. Uh, definitely looks like PU is a lot more stable now than, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, it's a ton more stable. It's actually a tier that's probably gonna be more balanced than anything else. Like that's a tier I wouldn't mind playing a tournament in. Um, but yeah, check out Ian X. His Twitter will be down below. Subscribe if you guys have not. And we'll be continue to bring these as we see some. Because we're still going to have drops, guys. We're not gonna, just going to have rises for uh, till I think, March. If I'm not mistaken. Or April. Yeah. I be, uh, it's March right yeah, now. I be, yeah. Yeah, March. Or, I think it's April, actually. Although, uh, like I said, like I mentioned passingly, um, Inu is currently doing a suspect test on Sigilus. Yes. Um, so... Uh, they're, I believe, in week two of that right now. So the vote on that, I believe, is next weekend. I believe they just put the uh, voter ID thread up earlier today or the day before. So expect results on that to be by next weekend, if not sooner. And if that's banned, we'll discuss it. Probably I'll cover and see how the tier changes. Yep. And if it's not banned, then well, then it's not banned. <laughs> yeah. So thank you everybody for watching. Hope you guys all enjoy. It. Leave a like if you did. Let us know your thoughts and what Pokemon you guys have been using as well. And we'll see y'all next time. Peace.